Oh, so I've been talking to this, um, I got shit on my lap. So I've been talking to this girl, and she said to this laptop for me. And what is it? It's an HP. I don't generally like HP because they have a very high failure rate. But this one's pretty cool. It has a ton of stuff. It's a 17 inch. Like, it's so big that just getting it on the desk here is a little bit much for my monitor. <laughs> so what is it? It's got an AM2 Turian X264 bit. ATI dedicated graphics. It's got a bunch of other stuff. It's got a ton of inputs and outputs. You know, it's on the older side, but I picked it up really cheap. Originally, originally she wanted like a hundred bucks. She was just gonna take it off and recycle it because I kept on saying no because I didn't really need it, right? So the only real problem with this is really slow. Assuming that'll be the hard drive. So I'm just gonna take the hard drive and cram as much RAM into it and see what I can do. I think right now it has like four gigs of RAM and like a maybe 500 gig hard drive. Let's see how slow it really is. Okay, it's kind of slow. Oh no, it's coming, it's coming. All right, so we'll take a look, clean this thing up. I gotta back up some files and uh, send those off to her and whatever, I got myself a, another laptop to fix up. I do like HP just for the grooviness of their controls and hotkeys, but I don't like the reliability. So that's why I was very happy when this one actually worked. Now this is interesting, it has slots for two drives, so I'm guessing you'd probably do like a RAID setup in this, and I'm assuming that's for an M.2 drive, maybe? Okay, and I'm guessing 4 gigs RAM. And there's your Wi-Fi. Can't really see or get to any of the fans to clean it up because it is running pretty warm. So I'm just going to swap the drive out for now and uh, install Windows. So now we're going to try Windows 10 with what everyone's calling the, uh, quote, free installation or make Windows 10 completely free where basically all you do is you don't enter a key and you get some limitations but not very many. So I'm going to try that now. If it doesn't work then I'll go back to, I don't know, I guess Windows or something. I got discs around here somewhere. Or I can just buy a key off like Penguin or Lingwin or whatever it's called for like 10 bucks. It's all up to you. And there you see it. And it says activate window which is set. Just say you don't have a key and then go next. Or I don't have a key, and it should just let you go. I would say we want Pro or Home or Education. I want Pro. But, uh, yeah, 64 bit. Then this should install. I noticed some strange things on this. Like it does have a DVD ROM, but it also has like a, a freaking what is it? Like an external SATA port or something? Like it's weird. And like what is that? Like that must be proprietary and a VGA and an HDMI. And a card reader. It's got two card readers. And three sound outputs. This thing is uh, interesting. But it seems like it's going. It's running fast. Oh, you just a little sign in oh. here. A touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Awesome. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way. And if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. That would be if there. If you need an assistive screen reader. Press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to enable narrator. That's way too much information. Okay, enough intro. Let's, Let's dig, dig in. in. No, Canada. No, Canada. No. I guess the mic doesn't work. Uh -huh. Which region do you want to use? Canada. Canada. I've got that you want to use Canada. Is that right? Yes. It works. What do you know? And this is a part of Windows where you just turn everything off. Location, diagnostics, relevant ads. I don't want relevant ads. I don't need ads. Um, I'll use uBlock for that. Speech recognition. Uh, I might need that if I'd use Cortana at all, but I can turn that back on. No diagnostic status. And then we want to accept. And we should get even more options as the install goes on. Okay. That's the last step. Woohoo! Working. I'm getting excited here. We need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Wow. Looking forward to helping out. Me too. Alright, now I'm going to install speed fan, and the ambient temperature is somewhere around there, so pretty warm, but not so warm that my normal PC doesn't just run fine. I should also point that out. There's no, like, Windows is non activated logos or anything like it's just acting normal the using no key does work probably for like 30 days or something and then it's back to whatever 
I can't for the life of me find Windows 10 drivers that will work with this. I can get it to work, but uh, I gotta do the BIOS first. And so now I'm going back to Vista on a different drive. I can slap in the uh, Windows 10 drive if I want, or I can just continue this software update and hopefully go from Vista to 10. I don't know. This is just to do a BIOS update. So much work, man. Here we go. Vista as it was meant to be from 2010, I guess. Well, at least it's hip. It's got something going for it. Okay, I have to, just because it's Vista. Vista is now nostalgic. Let's watch this <clears throat> amazing video. Your life may be unpredictable. Yes, it is. Your computer does not have to be. Oh, it is, actually. Introducing HP Total Care Advisor. Oh. Trusted guide to your PC. Can you help me? With Advisor, you will receive prioritized alerts in the Ooh, PC Action goodness. Center. Just what I need. Find solutions with PC Health. And monitor your computer's well-being with PC Health and Security. Oh, that'll work good. In addition, Experience Center will enable you to choose from the software and services included on your PC. Ooh. And customize Fancy. those selections to fit your needs. Welcome to HP Total Care Advisor. The computer is personal again. Mm-hmm. Personal, you say. All right, let's get Norton off here, and then maybe it might be personal. Here we go. Oddly enough, on Windows Vista, it runs pretty cool. Like, that's a lot colder. I'm going back to something. I can't use Vista. I can't. I'm going to 7. So as much as I thought using Vista was going to work, it's not going to work. So I'm installing, or actually I'm burning Windows 7 right now. Let's see if this old girl will still burn a DVD. And it worked. So bring on Windows 7 and we'll see how much HP crap we have to reinstall to make this thing functional. This video, man, wow. Ben, are we going to make it? I don't know. Taking forever. I actually really enjoy the intros to like Windows 10 and like Cortana, even though I don't want Cort Ben, oh my goodness, you can't be doing that. That's out of your jurisdiction. Psst. All right. All right. I actually really like the installations of uh, like Windows 10 and Windows Vista, even just how it intro came into intro and gave you like a good video and everything. And I don't think you're gonna see this Windows 7. No, nope, it's pretty basic, but uh, it'll be a better OS in the end. All right, guys, I got this thing set up as like a Kodi box or whatever, and also on Windows 7, so it's like working like perfectly fine for the most part. It's quick, it works. What's wrong? Windows 7, all the drivers and stuff work. I wouldn't go beyond Windows 7 because I tried the firmware updates and that was a mess and the firmware is now to the max but Windows 10 probably not going to work on this thing. Windows 7 still good enough, right? And it's plenty fast. Anyways guys, I love you. Thank you for watching. Continue watching because this was a very long video about this laptop which was probably really boring and I apologize for that. But I, look at this, I also have a second hard drive. So it has two hard drives, one is 350, one's 250, I think. And I could probably do it in RAID if I wanted to, but yeah, 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 I'm just mumbling on. So thank you for watching, thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you hate cats. Ben, what do you think about that? I don't know, alright, bye bye.